This is my first year gardening in Central Texas. I've decided to keep it simple and focus on growing two crops that grow well in this area, potatoes and onions. I thought it shouldn't be too hard, right? Well, it was a lot more challenging than I thought. I bought three different varieties of potatoes that are known to grow well in Texas. Kennebec, Red Left Soda, and Yukon Gold. Irish potatoes are a cool season crop. They grow best in early spring or late fall. Here in Texas, Valentine's Day or February 14th is when most gardeners plant their potatoes. It is good to grow multiple varieties together at the same time to help avoid diseases developing on your crops. I let the potatoes sit in paper bags for a couple of weeks. This allows the buds or eyes on the potato to sprout. You wanna do this before you dig the potato into the dirt for optimal production. We added fertilizer to the soil and we spaced out the potatoes, making sure that there's six inches between each potato plant. This one is growing really well. These ones are just popping up. Everything was going well until I noticed the leaves began to yellow and the plant started to wilt pretty early. The plants may have had blight caused by a potential soil deficiency. When this started to happen, I decided to just go ahead and harvest the potatoes. The potatoes I noticed were on the smaller side and probably didn't have enough time to develop properly. While harvesting some potatoes, I noticed some of them had an infestation of tiny little white bugs, which I believe to be, after doing some research, are called aphids. And some potatoes also began to develop mold. Now onto the onions. We bought two different varieties, yellow and red. And we made sure to plant them three inches apart. And then here are our onions so far. Don't really know if they're growing. I'm hoping they are. This is what we have. I noticed a ton of black caterpillars all over the onion plants. The worms ate a lot of the onion tops and this caused the plants to not grow as much. When harvesting, the majority of the onions barely grew because of this caterpillar. <laughs> so I only kept a few that seemed to do okay, but it was overall very disappointing because the onions barely grew at all. I think for my next garden, I will put more effort into combating potential pests and diseases a little bit better. My first year of gardening was not as easy and straightforward as I thought it was going to be, but it was a really great learning experience. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.